let's together contemplate on a few words from Nisargadatta Maharaj from the book I Am That. Contemplation means allowing the words to sink in. Contemplation means keeping thinking and judging aside and allowing the being to soak into the sound of the truth. Let the truth sink in. Do not make any judgments. Do not think. Do not analyze. Simply dive into yourself. Time is not external but a mental category. Space is not an external object, but a mental category. Causality is not objective, but a mental category. Time, space and causality are not objective but simply mental categories in which everything is molded. The existence of all things depend upon the mind. The form of all things depend upon the mind. Cognition is a mental product. The existence and form of all things depend upon the mind. Cognition is a mental product. The world, as seen from the mind, is a subjective and private world. This private world changes continuously in accordance with the restlessness of the mind itself. The world as seen from the mind is a subjective and private world. This subjective and private world changes continuously in accordance with the restlessness of the mind itself.
amongst the restlessness of the mind and its limitations stand supreme the limitless sense of i am the only thing i can be sure about is that i am not as a thinking i am not as an i am this or i am that but simply i am take your attention to this basic fact realize your amness and get rid of all self need presence the only true statement is i am the real experiencer is not the mind but myself the light in which everything appears the real experiencer is not the mind but myself the light in which everything appears i am the light i am not the mind i am the common factor at the root of all experience the self is the common factor at the root of all experience i or the self or the awareness is that field in which everything happens the entire field of consciousness is only as a film or a speck in i am the entire field of consciousness is only a speck in amness the entire field of consciousness is just one little particle in the humongous field of amness this i amness is conscious of consciousness this i amness 
is aware of itself. This I amness is indescribable because it has no attributes. It is only being and being is all that there is. Everything that exists, exists as the self, the amnes. There is nothing which is different from me. There is no duality and therefore no pain. There are no problems. It is the sphere of love in which everything is perfect. What happens, happens spontaneously, without intentions. Just like digestion, growth of the hair, etc. What happens, happens spontaneously, without intentions. Realize this and be free from the limitations of the mind. In deep sleep, there is no notion of being somebody being this or being that, yet amnes remains, yet I am remains. Memory seems to bring things to the present out of the past. But all that happens actually happens in the present moment only. Memory seems to bring things to the present out of the past. But all that happens happens in the present moment only. It is only in the timeless now that phenomena manifest themselves. It is only in the timeless now that phenomena manifest themselves. Time and causation do not apply in reality. I am prior to the world. I am prior to the body. I am prior to the mind.
I am the sphere in which they appear and disappear. I am the source of them all, the universal power by which the world with its bewildering diversity becomes manifest. I am the source of them all. I am the universal power by which the world with its bewildering diversity becomes manifest. In spite of its primability, the sense of I am is not the highest, it is not the absolute. The sense or taste of I amness is not absolutely beyond time. Being the essence of the five elements, in a way, it depends upon the world. The sense or taste of I amness is not absolutely beyond time. Being the essence of the five elements, in a way, it depends upon the world. It arises from the body, which in its turn is built by food consisting of the elements. It disappears when the body dies, like the spark extinguishes when the incense stick burns out. When pure awareness is attained, no need exists anymore, not even for I am, which is but a useful pointer, a direction indicator towards the Absolute. When pure awareness is attained, no need exists anymore, not even for I am, which is but a useful pointer, a direction indicator towards the Absolute. The awareness I am then easily ceases. What prevails is that which cannot be described. That which is beyond words. It is this state which is most real. A state of pure potentiality. which is prior to everything. The I am and the universe are mere reflections of it. The I am and the universe are mere reflections of it. until one becomes self-realized, attains to the knowledge of the self, transcends the self, until then, concepts are provided. 
I am is a concept. But surely there are no concepts more precious than I am. It is for the seeker to regard this concept with utmost seriousness because it indicates the highest reality. No better concept is available to shed all concepts. Shedding all concepts is the final abode. Shedding all concepts is the final abode. Shedding all concepts is the final abode.